Welcome to this presentation of reporting from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. In this presentation I'm going to review the capabilities that come with AX 2012, then I'm going to look more specifically at financial reporting and followed by ad hoc reporting. Before I begin with the demonstration, the slide comes from the Microsoft Convergence Conference in March 2011. It's really a summary of what Microsoft believe uh, for your types of reporting needs and the capabilities of the products they provided. Categories are querying, reporting, analysis and analytical applications. You can see there's a range of different options available for uh, various needs. You have for example statutory and financial reporting, you've got the AX2012 financial statements through Excel. Then you have the multi-company financials consolidation requirement and the option here is the management reporter ERP solution. So the Microsoft technologies looked a different way. So you can see there's about six or seven different technologies that have been bundled into AX 2012. Uh, there are obviously each of them have their own terminology, tool sets and user experience. It's not a unified solution. It's more of a, a, a shopping cart where all of the tool sets of, of the Microsoft stack have been bundled in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to run or take you through some of the options available. Uh, I'm going to pick on an income statement. I'm going to show you how, how it presents and then have a quick look at how the report was designed. By no means an expert, this is really just a, a quick overview of what's available. You can see here the Office add-in for Microsoft Dynamics X is on the slide but it's greyed out. That product simply cannot do a financial statement. So, first up will be a financial statement produced by AX 2012. So AX General Ledger Reporting and my General Ledger module I can run a financial statement. Financial statements in 2012 is a bit different to previous versions of AX. Previous versions of AX produced a financial statement within AX uh, on its white piece of paper. 2012 is a bit different. What it actually creates is a physical file name of a, of a spreadsheet. So it's producing it from AX and creating a spreadsheet. So I shall do precisely that. Clicking OK will produce the spreadsheet. So this is a report offered by AX out of the box. Uh, yes it is a financial statement but as you can see very limited into what I can do from here. I'm going to show you just how this report was created or designed in Dynamics AX. There's no design authoring or anything like that from within Excel. It's all done from within AX. So within the General Ledger module, set up financial statements, row definitions is where I need to visualize what my report will look like. As the authoring experience being AX is different to the presentation experience that being Excel, the designer has to imagine what the report will look like and go through the iterations of design mode in AX, run the report, see what it looks like uh, and that circle keeps going. Of course you've got to close the workbook before you can run it again. Once the workbook's open then obviously you get into issues. So if I look at my structured designer, so this is the financial statement and what I need to do from a designer perspective is actually visualize how I think the report is going to look. If I look at this information for instance, I have my revenues, sales, other income, project revenue and just to show you on my spreadsheet I have my sales, other income, project revenue followed by my COGS, cost of goods sold. So I need to visualize the structure and put in the appropriate details. In this case the structures here is uh, a range of accounts. Uh, these are the account ranges I need and this is the tick box I need to tick for each of these things if I want for example to have the report run with an inverted sign. I need a report definition for each of it. So as a designer I need to design my row definition and imagine what it's going to look like as a spreadsheet when I actually run it. When I actually run it. So from a design perspective 
if I've made some changes and I need to come back into my report. And this is why there's a little point in annotating it every time I run this OK button. The spreadsheet is recreated. Anything I've done in here is lost. If I come in and actually make some changes, for example, I want to bold that. Save my changes. And when I run my report again, then obviously all any of my annotations and changes have been lost. Back to my presentation. So just to summarize, all the financial statements are rendered as Excel spreadsheets. The, the, I believe they're complex to build and maintain. The financial statement rows are built in AX with no ability to preview or test. The pasted values in the workbook offer no option of refresh or drill down. There's no ability to, to include data from any other module outside of the general ledger. For example, perhaps I'd like a headcount within my report. It's not possible. It can only really report from the posted ledger transactions. And there's finally, there's no ability to annotate or improve its presentation using standard Excel as the spreadsheet's recreated by X every time. So I can't add charts. I can't do any formatting. Uh, all those are one-off exercises that are lost each time. There's a little point in, in doing those sorts of things and saving as another workbook just to try and keep those sorts of things as, again, those values are pasted and they're out of date the moment you produce them.